This presentation will explain the creation and evaluate the use of a simulation model used to practice the laparoscopic dissection of an obliterated posterior cul-de-sac. Obliteration of the posterior cul-de-sac is an unexpected and challenging surgical finding. Exposure of trainees to laparoscopic cul-de-sac dissection is highly variable. There are no widely available simulation models for teaching and practicing this technique. It is necessary for residents to develop surgical skills to manage this during laparoscopy for optimal treatment. Our goal is to design a low-cost obliterated posterior cul-de-sac simulation model to aid in resident education and dissection skills. When creating this model, the goal was to make it realistic, affordable, and reproducible. This model accomplishes these goals because it is built as lifelike as possible by using affordable and easily accessible products. Each model costs three to four dollars to make and can be easily reproduced by following the steps provided in this presentation. This makes the model easy to incorporate into residency curriculums. This table outlines the materials used in the creation of this novel simulation model. The following slides will provide a detailed explanation of how to construct the model. Cut out the uterus from AirTech's high density chair pad by printing and using the stencil within the attached PDF. Next, create the uterosacral ligaments. For better visualization, the incisions are highlighted using various colored lines in the photo. They can also be seen on the provided PDF template. Paint the uterus with Liquitex Light Portrait Pink Paint, thinned out with water, and let it dry. Then draw four horizontal lines along the posterior side of the uterus and uterosacral ligaments with a black permanent marker. The first line should be half an inch from the base of the cervix, and then each subsequent line should be about one inch apart, moving proximally. These lines help divide the model into three levels of difficulty during the simulation, with level one being the easiest and level three being the most challenging to dissect. Poke two holes in the fundus of the uterus. These holes should be one inch from the top of the fundus and spaced one and a half inches apart. These holes are indicated by red dots in the photo for better visualization. Cut a piece of twine approximately 40 inches long. Then thread the twine through the holes made in the fundus. The free ends of the twine should be extending out of the anterior side of the uterus. To make the rectum, Cut out a piece of cotton quilt batting, 5 by 11 inches, and a piece of mylar blanket, 6 by 11 inches. Dye the cotton quilt batting using RIT Petal Pink Purpose Powder Dye by following the instructions on the box. Using the 3M Purpose 45 Spray Adhesive, glue the two pieces together, leaving one inch of the mylar blanket exposed on one side. Once the two pieces are glued together, place the cotton quilt side down. Fold the extra piece of mylar in and add more spray adhesive to the now exposed side of the mylar flap, or where it is colored with red in the photo. Now fold the other side onto the mylar flap to create a cylindrical structure. Flatten the cylinder and make sure the seam is centered medially on one side. This will be the posterior side. Poke two holes into the rectum at one end. These holes should be half an inch from the end and spaced one inch apart. These holes are indicated by red dots in the photo. Cut a piece of twine approximately 30 inches long. Thread the twine through the holes made in the rectum. The free ends of the twine should be extending out of the posterior seam side of the rectum. Add a layer of Plaid Delta 108 Sobo Premium Craft and Fabric Glue to the model. 
gradually increase the amount of glue used from level 1 to level 3. Use the same amount of glue in the final extra section to keep the pieces attached after dissection. Ball up polyfill polyester fiber fill loosely for level 1 and place on wet Sobo glue. Ball up fiber fill with slightly greater density for level 2. Finally, ball up fiber fill densely and compactly for level 3 and for the extra section at the bottom of the model. Spray the fiber fill with the 3M Purpose 45 spray adhesive using increasingly more glue in each level. This will help create different levels of difficulty during the simulation with level 1 being the easiest, least tightly adhered, and level 3 being the most challenging, most tightly adhered. The amount of glue used in each section can be adjusted depending on desired difficulty. Gather the rectum together, creating a scrunched look, and place the rectum seam side facing up tightly on top of the fiberfill spray glue by applying pressure for at least 20 seconds. Spray the model with extra glue around the lateral side of the exposed adhesions to make sure the layers do not pull apart prior to dissection. Let the model dry completely prior to using. This is a simulation model focusing on laparoscopic dissection of an obliterated posterior cul-de-sac. Anteriorly, the uterus is a pink foam. Posteriorly, we find the bowel. The model is duct taped in the middle of a box trainer and secured using the sutures through the bowel and the fundus. Laparoscopic scissors and a Maryland dissector will be used for this exercise. The goal is to dissect the adhesions between the uterus and the bowel without injuring either the uterus or the bowel. Keep the tips of the scissors facing the uterus while dissecting. Practice utilizing poke and spread dissection techniques as well as classic blunt and sharp dissection techniques. The sutures through the fundus and the bowel may be tightened to provide further traction. The levels of dissection are marked with dark lines running across the uterus. There are three levels of difficulty to get through. Be cognizant of the uterosacral ligaments laterally as you get further in the dissection. You will notice that the adhesions get increasingly more difficult to dissect as you move through each level of the model. The fourth black line will mark the end of the dissection. You can adjust the syringe or EEA sizer to provide appropriate retraction on the bowel. Do not pick up the bowel using the Maryland forceps or cut into the bowel as this will result in a penalty. Do not cut into the uterus. This will result in a penalty as well. 17 residents and 9 experts were asked to participate in practicing this model. Each person filled out a pre- and post-survey evaluating their experience and comfort level, watched a 2-minute instructional video describing the exercise, and dissected the model. 30 minutes were allotted for completion. Residents showed increased comfort level after one dissection. Both residents and attendings rated the simulation as highly realistic and useful. 
In conclusion, our research shows that this model can be incorporated into resident training as a novel, affordable, and realistic simulation model of a highly complex pelvic surgery task.